Okay, well, let's get into the video part. Uh, 10 things you need to know. It's probably around eight minutes, this clip. And there's the form that you're going to be completing the 10 MCQs on. Um, based similar idea to last week, where I'll pass you three, I've passed you three letters that are at the end of the password. And in the video clip, you're looking for a further four letters. And then it's one word for the password. Okay, just to review the first two points of the MCQ. This fast thinking process, um, it's, it's a shortcut. Um, it's not slow and it's not objective, but it just allows you to quickly uh, problem solve or come up with a result. Uh, but uh, it can lead to misconceptions. Okay. And we saw this as in an example when we checked the eSports ranking. I asked you uh, who, who, who might be in the top three. And, and Korea was probably ranked that it should be, uh, but by population, it's not possible. Uh, not enough population there. And France, where was that ranked? Um, uh, using your quick reasoning, uh, we assumed France might be higher just because we'd see more evidence uh, visually uh, that France was participating in esports, but the, the, the statistics, statistics say something different. So this quick reasoning can lead to misconceptions. And that was uh, illustrated in the, the monkey business misconception. Uh, tell people to focus on one activity and you can miss uh, the activities that are happening in the periphery. And it can lead to the, these misconceptions. Okay. And these misconceptions, this, this creates a, a gap. And this gap can be filled by uh, maybe false information. Uh, uh, and that false information can start to create a, um, a viral effect of um, uh, poor uh, knowledge out there. Okay, so the, the monkey business concept, um, it's about misconception. Okay, uh, what would you do uh, to counter this slow thinking that's inaccurate? Well, an accurate uh, measure of thinking processes is uh, algorithmic th thinking. But that's going to take you longer and it's more systematic. Okay. And people probably more inclined today with social media and the rapidity of communication just to follow uh, misconceptions and keep repeating them because it uh, confirms their ideas, beliefs, and values. Okay. And then the gap minder test. Um, we just did a few questions from that just to show that maybe we don't know as much as we think we do. Uh, related to how the world functions. Okay, so now we're going to look at these four uh, four elements. Um, ignorance, consequences, fact resistance, and optimism. And this is going to be for um, uh, uh, MCQs 3 through to 10. All right, so let's, let's just um, get on with that. Okay. So the third uh, MCQ, uh, we got a picture here. Um, Ignorance. Um, the people that believe that the Earth is flat. Okay, the evidence proves that it's not. Uh, chemtrails. Um, these trails are just water vapor that um, is um, condensed uh, into droplets and then freezes uh, in the sky. Uh, but people believe that this is maybe governments. Um, 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 some kind of nephorous. Um, government activity, when in fact, is this ignorance? Well, apparently not. Um, apparently it's not ignorance. It's simply that if you disagree with a group of people that believe in this kind of stuff, you're, you risk being excluded from a group. So it's not ignorance. It's that people don't want to be excluded from a social group. So people choose to believe in these um, um, amazing uh, stories. Okay. So the consequences, you have a gap, and we've seen it with holdup, uh, which is the now notorious um, conspiracy video posted and uh, reported on by the mainstream press uh, that, uh, that COVID-19 is, um, again, uh, a nefarious attempt by governments to control, uh, but if you have a gap in uh, knowledge through to fit fast thinking, then these kind of 
um, conspiracy theories can actually go viral. It's fertile ground for conspiracies to threat uh, to thrive and spread. Okay. So the fifth point is that uh, are people actually resistant to facts? Okay. Uh, are facts important? Well, they are. And as you can see here, uh, the amount of immigrants, uh, the actual amount of immigrants is always less than people's perception. Um, so people's perceptions are skewed far from the actual reality of the facts. Uh, but maybe people do not care about this because uh, it, uh, what they believe helps confirm their ideas, beliefs and values. OK, and number six, optimism. Well, just to refer to the name of the person, uh, Hans Rosling, uh, the name appeared in the past, uh, the, the midterm that you did as a, a data statistician. And here he is uh, in his situation uh, as a statistician presenting the fact that he says that over 100 years, um, lifespan has improved and the income of populations has improved. Uh, and this is a positive thing. It's optimism. Uh, one thing to say about that, this optimism about lifespan and income, that those are his two categories, um, have been very much uh, criticized by a um, sociologist who goes by the name of Roland Paulson. Um, he's accused Rosling, this is for point six, of being overly optimistic with his statistics and actually um, his statistics actually working as propaganda um, is ignoring some facts and choosing to uh, focus on others that prove his hypothesis. OK. So at this point, you probably need the access to the password uh, and the four letters uh, prior to the, the three you already have is FAST, F-A-S-T. And that's going to unlock uh, the that's going to unlock the 10 questions and you'll see questions seven and eight uh, are part of the video here with Paulson uh, seven and eight and you'll see it listed and the final two questions nine and ten are related to this video with Linda Stewart who is a, a, a vaccines and immunobiology expert okay so without uh, holding on too lo much longer. There you go. Um, unlock that and um, uh, see you next week. If you need anything, just uh, send a chat message in uh, Teams. All right. Bye.